Magandang umaga sa ating lahat. Inaanyayahan ko ang bawat isa na tumayo at ating papurihan ang ating tunay na Diyos. Come on! Pwede tayong pumalakpak? Pwede ding sumayaw? As an expression of worship to our God.
Hello Champions! Welcome to SFCC Online Livestream. Masaya kami na makasama ka namin today. Be part of building church and reaching others. Papaano? Let's watch this. Aside from Sunday Livestream Celebration, meron din tayong praise and prayer every Tuesdays where we pray para sa church at sa community, may encourage through sa word of God and sa mga testimonies at ma-refresh through praise and worship. Tune in na every Tuesday at 5.50 p.m. Huwag nating kalimutan to encourage and inspire family and friends to join us to praise and pray. We also have prayer force every day. And different teams gather online through Zoom or Messenger para ipag-pray ang church concerns and community. Welcome ka na maging part dito. Message us at San Fernando Christian Community Messenger. I-chat mo lang ang word na prayer force. Join the prayer force now! Soul group happens anytime of the week. Here, we connect with the church family, build each other up through encouragement and prayer, and share ng word ni God. Soul group is for all ages, at ito ay nangyayari on Zoom, Messenger, or face-to-face meet-up. Mag-load na in advance para sa iyong data, or kumonek sa mabilis at reliable na internet connection. Gumamit ng earphones with built-in microphone o kaya ay pumunta ka sa tahimik na lugar kung saan walang makakaistorbo sa iyo so that you can concentrate, participate, and collaborate with your spiritual growth team. Para maging part ng cell group, pumunta ka lang sa christian.com.ph connect para makita ang iba't ibang cell group schedules ng SFCC. Get connected! Dahil sa cell group, we do champion life together. Natutunan po ang pagbibigay ng tithes and offering sa post-encounter. Naintindihan ko kung anong ibig sabihin nito na binabalik lang natin sa kanya kung ano yung nare-receive nating blessing. Dati, parehas na kami nag-work pero hindi sapat yung kinikita namin. Ngayon na wala man akong work, na-experience pa rin namin yung blessing ni God kasi hindi na kami umaabot sa sagad-sagad. Hindi siya talaga nagkukulang. Yung blessings niya is overflowing sa aming pamilya. Mula nung nagbabalik kami ng aming tights and nagbibigay ng aming offering, naranasan talaga namin na nag-move si God sa area ng especially sa health. Kasi dati yung anak ko, halos every week siyang nagkakasakit. Yung mga pera namin napupunta lang sa hospital. Pero nung natutunan ko yung pagbibigay na hindi lang siya kailangan kundi dapat galing sa puso, Doon ko napansin na yung anak ko is hindi na siya nagkakasakit until now. Mula noon, tinuruan ko na rin yung anak ko na magbigay at magbalik ng kanyang tights. And every time na may nare-receive niya yung allowance niya or kapag may pera siya, sinisiparit niya yung kanyang offering in tights and sinasabay niya sa amin pag binibigay namin yung aming tights and offering. Sa pagbibigay ko ng, ano, ng tithes and offering na nasa overseas ako o nasa barko, inipon ko po siya. Umabot ako ng 11 months. Naipon po siya ng naipon and hanggang nakauwi na ako is tsaka ko na siya binigay sa Panginoon kung ano pa yung nararapat. Pinapahalagahan talaga namin ang pagbabalik at pagbibigay ng aming tithes and offering kay God dahil dito namin naipapakita ang pag ubi namin kay God. Ang pagbibigay kay God, hindi ka nalulugi. Actually, uh, ano nga eh, sobra-sobra pa nga eh. Overflowing po yung blessing na binibigay. So it's worth na ibalik po natin sa Panginoon kung ano ang nararapat sa Kanya, ibalik natin. And then, magbigay din po tayo sa offering. We live, live here, here, we give, give here. here. At SFCC, nagbibigay tayo with a grateful heart because of what God has done for us. Ngayon, we've made it even easier. Pwede kang gumamit ng giving platform na most convenient for you. For PayPal, go to christian.com.ph Click Donate For Gcash, go to SFCC Facebook page and download the QR code for tithes and offering on your device. On your Gcash app, Click Pay QR. Upload the downloaded QR code. Enter the amount of your giving. Click Next. And Pay. 
Screenshot your online transaction and send your giving details to SFCC Champions Messenger. Pwede mo ding personal na ibigay ang yung tights and offerings sa SFCC Reception Office. O kaya, ipaabot ito sa yung network leader. For bank transfer, For special needs, i-text mo lang ang mga numbers na nasa screen. Narito ang sermon recap ng last week's topic. Spiritual growth and true lifestyle change happens through interconnected relationships with God's family. They're the people in an ongoing relationship with Jesus. Be planted in the house of the Lord, in the family of God, and you will stay healthy and be fruitful. Keep connecting. Change happens best when you keep connecting yourself with the Christian community, God's family. At SFCC, we believe life is better together. And we do life together when we connect, commit, and communicate in small groups. You maintain the relationship through fellowship. Koinonia, it means sharing something in common. This fellowship happens when we gather together in love, in faith, hope, and in encouragement. Accountability. This is like using God's buddy system. Accountability is a buddy that supports you, who will pray for you. So you need a friend for accountability. Do not neglect meeting together, as some people do, but encourage one another, especially now that the day of His return is drawing near. We are in a very real spiritual battle. Pag ikaw nag-drop out, nag-skip out, you become vulnerable for spiritual attack. The devil is like a roaring lion going around seeking whom he may devour. Aside from physical isolation, don't also be emotionally isolated. And the key is you got to be accessible and not isolate yourself. Stay honest with God, with yourself and with others, because being real brings freedom. Look for someone to hold you accountable. Sabihin mo na, will you act on my behalf? Ask me, check me and talk straight to me. And that is accountability. Change is coming. And through receiving the power of God's grace and connecting with the family of God's people, you will experience supernatural transformation in your lifestyle and relationships. More of SFCC Sermon Recaps available at christian.com.ph slash gems. To listen to SFCC's previous sermons, head to christian.com.ph slash podcast on your web browser. Be fired up to SFCC's faith-filled messages. Don't miss any of SFCC's updates. Search San Fernando Christian Community Facebook page, click like, hit get notifications, choose see first. Open your YouTube app, Search San Fernando Christian Community and hit subscribe. You can also search SFCC YouTube account on your web browser. Type christian.com.ph slash YouTube. Church is wherever you are, whether nagagather kayo in a building or sa inyong mga tahanan or online, pwedeng pwede tayong sumamba at magpuri kay God. Kaya naman tawagin na natin ng ating family at ishare nyo na rin ang video na ito sa inyong mga friends. Or pwede nyo silang i-mention sa ating comment section. At sabay-sabay natin i-experience si God through praise and worship and through His Word today. Hello! Magandang umaga sa inyo mga kapatid sa SFCC 
Kumusta na kayo? On behalf of my family, I'd like to greet you a Happy New Year. Hindi pa belated kasi nag-umpisa pa lang ang 2021, hindi ba? Well, we miss you guys. Kung hindi lang sa COVID, nandiyan na naman sana kami. I hope you are all doing well, loving the Lord more, serving the church more, despite the pandemic. Kami naman dito, okay naman kami. We're all healthy and doing well. Si Yeda nagkaroon ng, uh, ng COVID uh, about two, two months ago, but she is well now. And I hope that uh, uh, we'll be able to see you soon uh, after this pandemic. Lahat tayo nabakunahan na. Right? Well, I want to talk to you today about seasons. Where God is God in all seasons. Pero bago yan, tayo muna ay manalangin sa Diyos. Let's all pray. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for this opportunity to serve you, to speak your word to my brothers and sisters in SFCC. May you open their hearts and their minds today that they may receive your message today and be encouraged, convicted, and transformed. Thank you, Lord Jesus. It is in his name that we pray. Amen. Like I said, I'm speaking on God as the God of all seasons. God created time and seasons sa ayaw mo't gusto lalabas ang araw tuwing umaga at mawawala sa gabi at lalabas na naman sa susunod na umaga at mawawala na naman yan so forth and so on. Diyan sa Pilipinas darating ang, ar- ang tagaraw o summer at susunod ang tagulan at uulit na naman yan sa susunod na taon at tuwing taon. Dito sa US Merong winter, spring, summer, and fall. Tuwing taon, that's what happens. And it happens this way because God designed it to happen this way. And life is like all, like the seasons of time too. May panahon na masagana, may panahon na wala, may panahon na masaya, may malungkot din. And yes, bad things happen to Christians too. Hindi naman tayo accepted sa mga pagsubok. Di ba? Sometimes, Christians ask more questions than non-Christians. What happened, God? I thought life should be better now that I'm a Christian. If I serve you and give my tithes, shouldn't I be experiencing prosperity instead? I know these questions are being asked along the lines of COVID, the COVID pandemic. How do we make sense of what's happening to us with the COVID pandemic? How do we make sense that life is already hard? And yet this pandemic even makes it worse. One day, you're enjoying your life, planning a long overdue vacation. Next thing you know, you can even get out of your house. You're just getting out of a tight financial situation in life and, and everything is looking good. Then boom, COVID strikes and business is closed. Or worse, you're already in a tight financial situation and then you lose your job. Mas lalo malaking problema. How do we reconcile a good God with all these bad things happening to us? Today, I want to share you some perspectives to these questions. And the first thing I want to share you is to have the right perspective. Perspective is a key to understanding the seasons of life. I do not mean looking at the glass half full instead of half empty, although that helps a little. What I mean with having the right perspective is taking God's perspective, seeing the world, seeing life, seeing the events, good or bad, easy or hard, life or death situations from the eyes of God, from the mind of God. You know, we are so blessed that our master left us a book that can give us instructions on how we can see things the way he sees it and how we can be like him. You know, that's what the master does to his disciples. He trains them to think like him, to act like him. Paul said in Philippians 2 verse 5, In your lives, you must think and act like Christ Jesus. You can't call yourself a disciple if you are not training to think like your master. Napanood niyo na ba yung Cobra Kai? Yung popular Netflix series na sequel ng Karate Kid? Each karate master called Sensei trains his students to think and fight like him. When Chris, the Cobra Kai master, tells them to show no mercy when they fight, his students will show no mercy when they fight. 
The Bible tells us that there is a time for everything. Ecclesiastes 3 verses 1 to 7 says, There is a time for everything and a season for every activity under the heavens, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to uproot, a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to tear down and a time to build, a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance, a time to scatter stones and a time to gather them, a time to embrace before COVID, and a time to refrain from embracing during COVID, a time to search and a time to give up, a time to keep and a time to throw away, a time to tear and a time to mend, a time to be silent and a time to speak. Life comes in seasons. Sa ayaw mo gusto, nagbabago ang panahon sa ating buhay. Kahit pa ikaw yung taong mahilig magplano sa bawat takbang ng buhay mo, ng kinabukasan mo, meron at merong darating sa buhay mo na hindi mo inaasahan, na hindi kasama sa plano mo, at maring magdudulot ng kapiguan, kalungkutan, kapahamakan sa buhay mo. There are seasons of active life, there are seasons of rest, seasons of loss, and seasons of renewal. There are seasons of plenty, shortage, challenges, and celebration. And there's a time to be close to positive people and stay away from negative people. But now in COVID, you have to stay away from positive people and be close only to negative people. We are in an unusual season, the COVID season, first time in the history of the country with the rest of the world that people are locked down for almost a year. Who knows, maybe more. Sana hindi naman. When everybody gets a vaccine, the next season will be hopefully a season of recovery and rebuilding. And maybe after that, it will be a season of growth and prosperity. There is a reason for every season. God doesn't cause seasons to happen kasi like lang niya. Every move God does is always for a reason. It is important that we understand the season we are in so we will know what God is doing in our lives and what God wants us to do. Parang yung natural seasons. Yan sa Pilipinas kapag panahon ng tagulan, doon ka magtatanim ng palay. Pag tag-araw naman, doon ka mag-aani. Kung baliktad ka mag-isip, magtatanim ka sa tagtuyot at mag ka sa tagulan, ang mangyayari niyan ay walang bigas, no rice. Mababangkrap ang mga inasal. Diba? Wala nang anli. Even the ants, mga langgam, understand the seasons. According to Proverbs, God commends them for being wise to gather food during the harvest and store them during the summer. Ganon din ang buhay natin. Bawat panahon sa buhay natin ay may layunin ang Diyos para sa atin. Kaya kailangan maging sensitibo tayo sa ginagawa ng Diyos sa buhay natin, sa iba't ibang panahon sa buhay natin. Kabilang na ang Masaga ng pamumuhay. Kaya sa halip na tayo ay magreklamo at magalit ng walang katapusan, let us be wise to trust God. Magdasal tayo sa Diyos at humingi ng gabay. Lord, anong pinapagawa mo sa akin? Pray and meditate on God's word for direction. Pray for wisdom, for strength. Because when you have the perspective of God, the next thing you do is to trust God. Trust God in every season. Some people are probably discouraged that despite us praying every day, paulit-ulit for God to end the COVID season, it still has not ended. Parang lumala pa nga. And last we heard, there is a new variant for far worse than the original. So, wala na bang katapusan ito? Of course, it will end. May bagyo bang tuloy-tuloy? Na walang tigil. May earthquake ba na tuloy-tuloy? Like any calamity, the COVID season will end. Matatapos din ito. It is not permanent. May vaccine na nga eh. Di lang iisa. So do not fear that the lockdown is going to be forever. Makakalabas din tayo na walang maskara. God will end it in His own time. You know, what we do is we ask, pray, demand that God is going to end it soon. As soon as today. Today, now na Lord, instead of, of praying to stop this pandemic, why don't we just pray that God will get you through it? That is faith. That is faith that trusts in God. 
The timing of God is sovereign and perfect. The Bible says God has made everything beautiful in its time, which means everything has an appointed time. Now, if His timing and is sovereign and perfect, it means that God is always in control. Sometimes we do not understand His timing. Ako rin nga, akala ko two weeks lang, tapos ng COVID pandemic. Akala ko dalawang buwan lang, magwa one year na, hindi pa tapos. Ano ba yan, Lord? Gusto ko nang umuwi sa Pilipinas. Miss ko lang SFCC. Hirap naman ito. Nastuck ako sa Amerika. Pati si na Pastor Tim, nastuck din. You know, when we're looking at our circumstances, we think according to our own ways, according to our own timing. Pero iba ang timing ng ating Panginoon. Iba ang mag-isip ang Panginoon. Sabi nga sa Bible, His ways are higher than our ways and His thoughts are greater than our thoughts. Minsan din natin maintindihan na matanggap ang galaw ng Panginoon. Pero sa paglipas ng panahon, when we look back, doon natin ma-appreciate na ang galing, ang galing pala ng timing ng Panginoon. Tignan nyo ang nangyari kay Joseph sa Genesis. Joseph the Dreamer, remember? Kung mahina lang ang loob ni Joseph or mababa, mababaw ang kanyang tiwala sa Diyos, siguro tuwing may masamang mangyari sa kanya, sigurado mangyak-ngyak siya at isiin ang Diyos para di, pero, pero hindi niya ginawa yon. Naging faithful siya at sumunod sa pinapagawa sa kanya ng Diyos. Kaya siya naging the second most powerful person in the world at the time. Nung nagbalik tanaw siya, sinabi niya sa kanyang mga kapatid, You meant evil for me, but God meant it for good. Trust God because He knows how it is going to end. And He lets you know it too. You know, sa aming dalawa ni Sally, siya mas mahilig manood ng, ng Netflix o Amazon. Tuwing gusto kong manood at, at you know, namimili na ako ng, ng papanoorin ko, tinatanong ko muna kay Sally kung napanood na niya. Kasi gusto ko, gusto ko malaman yung, yung ending. Kung namatay ba ang bida, depressing ba ang ending, bitin ba ang ending. Gusto kong malaman kasi ayaw kong masayang ang oras ko. Alam mo yung mga, minsan mga pinapanood natin, yung mga, mga series na you know, two seasons, three seasons at merong sampung si, uh, episodes sa isang season at ayaw ko na papanoorin mo yung, uh, yung four seasons na yon 20, 20 episodes for example and then sa bandang huli pangit ang ending ayaw ko yun I always want a feel good ending diba? ganun din kayo let me ask you would you rather know now how the story of your life will end? Of course you do. And you want a good ending, right? Would you like it though? If God told you now that your life will end badly, I will feel bad, of course. But I will be very grateful because I will still have a chance to change the ending. Diba? Pakikusapan ko ang Diyos na gusto ko magbago, Lord, para, para mag, maging maganda ang ending ko. For you, a believer in Christ, do you want to know how your life will end? Huwag mong sabihin na, na ayaw mo dahil gusto mong suspense. Sorry, di na pwede. Alam mo na eh, dahil nung tinanggap mo si Heso Kristo bilang yung Panginoon at Tagapagligtas, sinabi na sa iyo ang ending. It's for someone who loves his life, in Christ, His story will end in glory. Your life will end in glory. We will bask in the glory of Christ. No pain, no sorrow, no weeping, no, no, no sickness. So if today you feel like you're losing hope, you think things are really bad, you think there's no end to this pandemic, let me tell you again, this is going to end in God's time. But I assure you that there will be another crisis that will come. Because that's how everybody, everybody's story goes. But that will end too. But I want you to always look to the ending. If you're in Christ, your story will end in glory. Don't look at where you are now. That is not your final destination. Look to the end. At kung alam mo kung paano magtatapos ang buhay mo, Mas masarap mamuhay bilang isang kristyano. 
sigurado yan. Mas madaling sumunod sa ating Panginoon. Mas masaya magsilbi sa Diyos. Kaya wag mong sayangin ang pagkakataon na gawin ang pinapagawa sa iyo ng Diyos sa panahong ito. Don't waste the season that God has given us. Like I told you earlier, there is a reason for every season, a lesson to learn in every season. COVID season is a season of endurance, patience. It's a unique season to sow seeds of faith and love for people. People experience brokenness in times like this. And in times of brokenness, they tend to open up their hearts to, to the one who can fix them. That's when you come in as God's instrument to share the love of God. Let's not miss this beautiful opportunity to serve God and people. You know, I don't do Facebook as often as I did before, but I do watch SFCC videos as often as I can. I love the beautiful music that the worship team makes. But more than the music, I love their encouraging demonstration of faith and their cheerful attitude. It's amazing, really amazing. And I also watch the, the ministry videos uh, of the children. And I tell myself, look at these people. While most of the world stop what they're doing, while most of the world are watching Netflix and while many Christians have stopped being Christians because they think the pandemic is an excuse to stop worshiping God and reaping, reading their Bibles, the servants of the Lord are out there reaching out to people, lifting them up in worship, inspiring people with the Word of God and sharing what they have to people. This is what COVID should make you into, to be better persons, not bitter not bitter persons. Sana all. While I'm polishing my message, I'm also watching the live funeral service of Uncle Jake. You know who Uncle Jake is, the one who took charge of building the, the SFCC uh, worship hall. I, I was watching it on Facebook. I watched your, I watched your video tribute for him. And, and, and really that, that made me shed tears. I'm so proud. I'm so proud of all of you, how much SFCC has grown. That one great man from the U.S. went there and sacrificed his time, money, and skills to bless you because he believed in you. I've, I don't think I've, I've ever met Uncle Jake. But listening to all those uh, speeches, I, I believe that he's one great man of God. He's quite an inspiring man. Well, okay, so what have I told you today? I've told you that in viewing this COVID pandemic and all other storms that come in our lives, I want you to take the perspective of God, to look at life through the lens of God. Two, I want you to trust God in this pandemic and in every season because he's in control and that he knows when and how seasons in our lives are going to end and that ultimately everything will end in glory for those who love him and trust him. And third, I want you to, to not miss the lesson in this season. There is something that God wants you to do in this pandemic. Don't waste the season. Shall we pray? Almighty Father in heaven, we are so blessed to have you as our God, our Lord and Savior. Thank you for revealing yourself to us that we may know how to live this life with hope, with love, with peace and joy, and with the certainty that you will always be with us in seasons of plenty and of lack, in seasons of sorrow and happiness. Thank you for the assurance that you are in, in control of every season, including this pandemic. And now we can rest our minds from fear and worry, knowing that this pandemic is in your hands and knowing that everything will ultimately end for your glory and that we can share in that glory. And if you are uh, the person who has not put the salvation of your soul in the name of Jesus, I believe that this is the best time for you to do that. 
as we pray, and uh, you can pray with me these words. Lord Jesus, I, I receive you in my heart today as my Lord and Savior. Forgive my sins and cover me with your precious blood that I may be pure in your sight. Seal me with your Holy Spirit that I may live my life worshiping you, loving you, and serving you in season and out of season. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you so much, guys, for listening, and I thank you for inspiring me and all other people with your strong faith and service to God. I hope to see you all soon. May God keep you and bless you. Bye.